Tell them what time it is. It's time for the Listen Up Report with Lady So. Movies, music, entertainment. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are now tuned in to the Listen Up Report with Lady Sola. Oprah for President 2020? That was the one question lingering on everyone's mind after Oprah Winfrey's speech at the 2018 Golden Globe Awards. She was presented with the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement. Oprah delivered the speech of the year. That was such a powerful speech. It was resonating. It was tear-inducing. And what a way to start off 2018. Within the speech, she was able to do a lot of things. She was able to connect with her past and uh, share a little bit more about herself. As a little girl, she was able to take us through... um, her professional career, and, and and highlighting some of those things. She was able to, of course, address some of the most pressing issues that are going on in our times right now regarding sexual misconduct, sexual harassment, sexual abuse, and allegations. Um, so she was also able to shine light on the Me Too movement and also give a little history lesson. When Oprah speaks, she's able to do so many things in her speeches, conversations, um, talks, interviews, and she also shed light on Reese Taylor, a young black woman back in 1944 who was raped by six white men in Alabama. Six white men raped a young black woman who was walking home from church one Sunday afternoon. She went on to live for a very long time, and ironically enough, she just died very recently. So Oprah was able to uncover that. Things that stood out in her speech is when she recalled Sidney Poitier winning the Best Actor Award in 1964. That was the very first time that she saw a black man on television being celebrated in such a grandiose way. Another part of the the interview that she was able to shed light on was being able to say things like speaking your truth is the most powerful tool that we all have. And I think it identifies with so many people, right? Speaking your truth is the most powerful tool that we have. She's right. She's absolutely right. She also goes on to express her deep respect and gratitude for the Me Too movement and for all the women that have suffered. So once again, she's encompassing and including a whole group of women, a whole gender, to say that you are not alone. That not only Will all of us rally around women that have had to endure, that have had to keep quiet, that have had to close their eyes and shut their mouths for so many years, that are in so many professions and so many different environments and so many different lanes. Not only are we here for you, but she also put the men on the spot as well. And I really like when she did that and said, the men that are willing to listen. Um, So she really called out everybody. So based on the speech, it was very, very moving. But if you guys did not get to catch the speech, check out this clip. This is probably the best part of the speech. Check it out, and I'll be right back. For the girls watching here now to know that a new day is on the horizon. Damn, Oprah's good. And it's so funny because, you know, I believe last year, Gail was like, oh, shut that rumor down. It ain't going to happen. She's never going to run for president. But, you know, with Trump being able to get elected, basically being a celebrity, I think Oprah is starting to realize more and more that this idea is not so far-fetched after all. Um, And she is starting to take the whole idea of running for office a little bit more seriously. And I feel like 
Although this was a lifetime achievement award and the average person that wins these type of awards definitely puts their all into the speech that they give, this speech was on another level. This was like upper echelon, like I'm really trying to make a statement for weeks and months to come. That is what presidential-esque candidates bring to the table. When you make a large positive impact felt across the board. Oprah definitely has that influence. She definitely has that that spirit about her. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye's claiming that he's going to run for president. It's not impossible. As a matter of fact, it might be the best thing that can happen for us in 2020, especially for Democrats. So I'm all for the possibility, the rumors, the hearsay. I am here for all of it. Okay. And all we can hope for is that it happens because that will be the sight to see. Let me tell you, Mama O, Auntie O, as you are affectionately known as, I love you for what you're doing, for the generations that you've inspired and shouting out the young girls that are watching you. So humble, so gracious, and so grateful. This is Lady Sola with your Listen Up report. I appreciate you. Thank you for listening. Until next time.